You can never have enough miniatures. Being July, I have two Kickstarters coming, one for miniatures, one for brushes. The first one has arrived, so let's have a look at the Kickstarter from Midland Miniatures. Right, so they come in an outer box and inside there's a little jiffy bag which contains two packets of miniatures. We'll put that one to one side for a minute. Let's have a look at our first bag, so we'll take these out. These are all white metal. These are probably go to ear metal. I don't actually mind metal figures, that's probably because I'm an old gamer and I'm used to it. Right, tip these out, let's have a quick look. So we have a halfling bard. These are really nice clean figures. Halfling with a spear and a sword on his back. Halfling ranger. He's got a bow, famous cloak. Halfling nun. That's this one. I'm not really sure. I think it's like a halfling farming girl, vegetable seller type character. Nice NPC, a little bit of flash there. Nothing major. Halfling ninja. Halfling cleric. That's a little back venturing backpack. Holy book and mace to whack things with. Ah, here's another halfling ninja. Or is this? The, no, this is the halfling ninja. That's quite fun. Another halfling, could be a caster, a cleric, barbarian, showing her cheeks. I'm thinking sort of gold moon from Dragon Lance, which is a halfling. And then we have a halfling adventurer. Another nice figure, get my fingers out of the way so you can have a look. So that's the first bag. Next lot. It's another halfling. This one looks more like a rogue to me. I don't know why, it's just got that sort of feeling to me. It's not a halfling rogue. Halfling monk. Definitely got the monk hairstyle, like hasn't got any. Um, whacking hammer and a holy symbol. Another little monk. Deep prayer. A halfling sort of fighter, shield fighter. Little tank. Backpack on the back. Another bard with his. Ukulele. Or loot, I should say. Hey. He's quite a nice looking figure. Very classical sort of design. It's like a halfling thug type character with his whacking stick. A little trungeon to knock you over the bolts. Halfling caster. Halfling with an axe. Probably an NPC. Or the wild hermit halfling type character. Another proper halfling adventurer carrying a torch or a candle. A to and a torch, because it's got woodwork. An adventuring backpack. Another halfling ninja or kung fu halfling depending on how you look at it um, obviously a little support piece here to help the casting which needs chopping off so there we go so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven, twelve, thirty, we have 20 figures i think these were about 30 pound 35 pounds something like that very nice figures they're true 28 so compared to your epic scale they do look small but they're halflings so that's not a problem. It's a company I do like their figures. They're great figures. 
So hopefully we'll be coming back with you in a few weeks time and get some of these painted. I know a couple of them we want for D&D. We'll just uh, try and zoom in a little bit so you can see them and have a proper look. And let's put the camera up. Right, there you have it. So these are the halfling townsfolk adventurers from Midland Miniatures. Um, great set of figures. I've, this is the third Kickstarter of theirs I've backed. This is the second one I've got. The other one's still on Kickstarter or is just finished, I think. Which is the rats. I thought it was always good to have some rats for your dungeons. The first one I got was the apprentices, the wizard apprentices. They're quite fun little characters, which I've got painted up. Oh, no, I've got another one. And I've got the halfling gnomes, garden gnomes. So they've got adventurers and village people in as well, which I'm painting up at the moment. I highly recommend keeping an eye out on Midland Miniatures Kickstarters. They're usually pretty good value for money for what you get. Great quality figures. I know there's the bit of the hoo-ha in the community between resin, plastic and metal. I don't find much difference painting between any of them. Um, plastic may be smoother for the bigger figures and easier to paint, but I'm so used to painting metal after all these years, it doesn't really bother me. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please share, subscribe, get it out there. And I will see you all soon. So have a good week gaming. And I'm going to hopefully break out my new paintbrushes when they turn up. See you soon. Cheers.